Hello everyone, my name is Dave, and today I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft profile picture, well, Minecraft themed profile picture for YouTube, because it was requested, and I said I'll do whatever requested tutorials I want, so I'll give you an example of it now, so that's mine, and this is what we'll be making, but if you want to watch my um, text tutorial to get a similar text to this, that, that'd probably help you out before before starting this tutorial. Okay, so firstly, make a new folder on your desktop. And just type name it profile picture. All that. So you can just save your stuff to it. So open your internet. And type in Minecraft. Renders. Ooh. And just pick like two pictures. I picked that one, and there's a like a nether themed one as well, just so they like contrast in. Because you don't want like two really similar pictures next to each other. Then you want to type in optical flare. And just get any one of these. One like that might look good, any of them, any of them will do. Okay, so now that you got them and saved them into this folder, I'm just going to get mine that I used. Okay, so they're mine. Now you're going to want to go into Cinema 4D. You're going to want to download a rig, a Steve rig. Um, I use Wii Lens, paid ones. So just go on Window, like I just did Window content browser and this will come up and then find your Steve rig so I'm going to be using that one the custom skin one so I can put my own skin on it and just zoom in on him I'm going to do like the top half of his, of his body so I'm going to take the well I'm going to load my skin in first so if you've downloaded your minecraft skin you'll need to do that as well so I'm going to get mine so it should look like that and just open now and click yes. If if you you were um, skin is like mine, you'll have to take the eyes off. And all the face things and put the hat on. And then you can get a uh, oh. you can get uh, you can put like hats or swords on and put a sword down. and just click on this if you've got that selected and then click on that and then controls and then bone controls no sorry AK controls and then arms and just, you got your two arms then you can move them however you want so I'm going up and across a little bit and then you're going to rotate it move it down a bit And then his other arm. Just move that up a bit. No, no. That should be alright. You can do his head as well, I think. If you've got body parts and then head. You can like rotate it. Oh no, that's not the one, sorry. What was it on now? Can't remember where to find his head. I'm sure his body part. Head. Head, sorry. Oh, that's not right. Oh, yeah, it is, but mine got a hat. So you can click on the hat as well, I think. So if you click on that, and that, it should rotate together then, yeah. But there's, there's his teeth, so I'm not gonna rotate it. But you can do it if you want. So mine looks normal now. Go in your settings, type in whatever you want, I got mine on set, I guess. That's how I done my text, but I'm not gonna change it. Make sure that's on PNG. Go on alpha channel in. And take that. Add ambient occlusion and global illumination. And to light your player up, you can either use these lights to look like that and like move it away. Ooh. But I'm using a light room as you can see. I'm not going to use one of those lights. 
because mine's already lit up from the electron I'll show you the electron I got on so there's the electron you can download them from YouTube or wherever they're not too hard to find or you can make them yourself so I'll just zoom in again wherever you want to position it I think that'll be alright yeah that should be alright and then render out so once you've saved it to the Save to my desktop in that folder that we made. There it is. Just name it like player or something. Just click save and then you can render out. Now it's rendering. My screen might be froze for a minute until it does render. Okay, so it's rendering out now. Almost done. Okay, now it's loading now. And we're almost done. Okay, we're done. There you go. There's your player rendered. Now you can just minus that. And you're gonna wanna get some Cinema 4D text as well. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but you're gonna wanna watch that tutorial. I think I said it. I'm not sure. But watch my um text tutorial and then save that into here as well. Would be f I'm just gonna get pre made text that I think I used it for the background, my wallpaper. Okay, so there's my text. Make sure it's a PNG as well. Then open up Photoshop. And then go File New. Make sure it's 800 by 800. These settings. Don't have to name it yet, well you can if you want. So we got this. So the first thing you want to go and do is open up your folder and just you can just cave. Ah oh, that's there. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna drag the cave in or whatever image you saved and hold shift and drag it up just to scale it properly. You can move it around and just move it to like make sure it's bigger than your thing so it's covering it like that no white bits are showing then put in the middle well this is the most interesting part so I'm gonna have one half this picture and one half the other picture so this half looks good I think this side so you can place that get your folder up again and then get your other one scale that up again and and then over the other half the right side and I think that looks good. This side will look good. So place that. Then on your top layer, create clipping mask by clicking this button down here. So click that. And you're gonna wanna get a brush tool. Set the hardness. Well you can set the hardness to whatever you want, but don't put hundred otherwise it'll look weird. Set the size to whatever you want. I prefer using a bigger one though. That should be good. And the hardness set it down to about 20. Okay, now you can click off that. And then, because I want to use the right side, you can just rub out the click and hold. And just slowly rub out the, um, the left side. So halfway, that looks good, I think. And then we're done for the background bit. And now we're just going profile picture. And then lens play, you can add that in. Then position this wherever you want. Make it bigger if you want. Put mine there. So now you can place that. If you want to go and click on your layer, and then click on this blending options, I think it is, and click linear dodge add. So then it changes it to like, it's like really bright. And then you, if you see like a line from your picture, from where you, you've like placed it, I think I might be able to show you now. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a faint line up there. You can see it moving now. So if you got that, uh, you can see the see that right in there is really faint. So go on your your um brush again. Make sure it's black, and then go and click on that. You layer, click clip and mask again. And you can slowly rub it out. See, you can't see it now. Just go around the edges of it click quite a few times around the edges and rub it all out and then it should be nice and 
smooth. Okay. And if you want to bring anything back, say if you actually then accidentally done that, just go and go down there, change it to white, and paint it back in then. So open up your folder again and drag your player in. Um, what one was it? Did I render it? Yeah, oh yeah, I done on my desktop. So I got my player there. Maybe we should do this for a minute. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so I got this. And I just scale it all the way up. A little bit more. Should be fine. Place him in the middle. You can right click on him, blend in options, and then drop shadow. So these are my drop shadow settings, but I'm going to bring the size down, no, spread down a bit. So you can copy them if you want. You can pause the bear. And just click OK. Then you want to get your text that you used. So you should have rendered your text out from my tutorial, my other one. And saved it into here. Trying to get mine. So this is it. I'm just gonna use this this blue one for now. Because it's a PNG, you can just put it over this straight away, you don't have to touch anything. Scale it up, put it on the bottom. And if you want you can add the drop shadow again on that. Exactly the same settings. These settings again. You can mess about with it though. You don't have to copy mine. So that'll look at. Okay, so that's basically how I made my profile picture. Let's see if I can get it up again now. Oh, that's wrong one. Oh, where is it? There it is. So that's how I made this. But on this one, I, I done it slightly different. As you can see, my feet and stuff. And there's the right thing. Slightly better writing because I spent more time on it than that one. That one was just for a test. So that that's there you go. That's how you make it. And then you can just file, save as, name it whatever, save it as that, and then save it as a JPEG. And then if I go on my desktop, save, okay, and then minimize it down, and there it is. There's your profile picture. Okay, so. Thanks for watching this tutorial. You can leave a like or subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll be doing more tutorials, I guess, in the future. I think I might do one like to make this background as well. I'm not sure, but let me know what you think on that. And uh, I've gained quite a few subscribers within the last few days. Just want to welcome them. And if you enjoyed, subscribe. I know I've said it twice. I think. And. And I won the Waffles is competition. You can see that on my channel as well. I'm quite happy with that. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.